Hey guys, it's Trevor of DinoJet. Today, we're gonna to be going over the install process of the DinoJet fuel pump module for your Can MX3 models. DinoJet's partnered with Detworks to develop our brand new fuel pump module. This fuel pump module is a complete drop-in replacement of the OEM module. It features a two-stage filtration system. It decreases injector duty cycle by roughly 10% and brings fuel pressure from 65 to 78 PSI. We also engineered this pump to run on either gasoline or ethanol. Let's get started on this install and I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to install this fuel pump. Tool-wise, all you're gonna need for this install is pretty basic. Uh, push pin pliers, if not a flathead screwdriver, uh, one or two quarter inch ratchets. You can get away with one, um, an extension, small extension, a swivel extension, a Torx 30, and a 10 millimeter socket. First step of the install process is finding where the fuel pump's at. Fuel pump's gonna be located under this panel on the passenger side of the vehicle. To remove this panel, we're gonna go ahead and remove these five bolts that are Torx 30s, and then we're gonna come back and remove the two push pins with some push pin pliers. Once you get all that removed, this panel will pop off and you'll have access to the fuel pump. When you have the top three bolts removed, this first side bolt, you're gonna to have to open up the panel for your fuel fill. And there's gonna be a 10 millimeter nut you're gonna to have to grab onto to get that bolt out. And then the last bolt on the side, go ahead and lift the glove box, give you a little bit more access to it. Once you have that removed, we're gonna move back to the top and remove our push pins. You can use some push pin pliers or you can use a flathead screwdriver. Just try not to mess up the pins too bad so we can reuse them. Once you have the two push pins removed and the five bolts, you can go ahead and pull up on the panel and it'll pop right off. Once the top panel is removed, you're gonna see this big metal bracket that goes over the top of the fuel pump. We're gonna go ahead and remove this bolt completely, which is a 10 millimeter head, and then we're gonna to go to the other side and loosen that bolt so we can pivot this bracket out of our way so we can have access to the fuel pump. Now we're gonna go ahead and loosen the back bolt. The easiest way to get back there is with a swivel and a short 10 mil socket. Once we have that loosened up, we should be able to rotate this bracket enough to give us access to the fuel pump. Now that we have the bracket out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and remove the electrical connector and then the fuel line. I'm gonna go ahead and put a towel in here for the fuel line so we don't get fuel everywhere. On this connector, there's gonna be a little tab on here. You're gonna pull this white tab back and then push down on the center to be able to take off the connector. There's the fuel line. There's these two little connectors at the bottom. You're gonna pull them out and then push it forward. And pull up on the line push it off to the side. So before you remove the fuel pump completely, you're gonna to wanna to look at the little arrow that's on top of the pump. What I usually do is just make a little Sharpie mark in which way it's pointing. So when you put your new pump in, you can line that arrow up with the dot so it doesn't bound up your float so you're not driving out in the desert and your car tells you you have a full tank and you run out of gas. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove the fuel pump from the fuel tank. You're gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of pressure on top of the fuel pump and remove this outer ring. Once you get that ring off, the fuel pump should pop right out. If this ring is super tight, you can get like a big pair of channel locks to kind of help loosen it up. And then 
once it's loose, remove it with your hands. So it rings off, go ahead and pop it off. And get the fuel pump a little bit of a pull. The gasket's also probably gonna fall off when you're doing this. So we're gonna go ahead and come up with the fuel pump. Give it a little bit of a twist. Pop out your lines. A little bit more of finessing. And be careful with your float. And then pop it out. And you are gonna spill some fuel when you're taking this fuel pump out. So make sure you have a good amount of shop rags or paper towels or something to soak up the fuel. In the kit, you're gonna get a new gasket. You could just pop this gasket over the fuel pump. And then when we go to install the fuel pump, this will sit on the plastic part of the fuel tank and the fuel pump will push into it. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and install our new DynoJet fuel pump. We're gonna go ahead and put in the float first and angle it down and then we're going to twist the rest of the fuel pump in tuff, tucking everything back into the fuel pump as easily as we can without breaking anything and then our gasket once the pump's in we're going to kind of let the pump sit there and we're going to put the gasket around the plastic part of the fuel tank and then we'll push the fuel pump back down all the way in and then put back on our ring nut This is when you're gonna put the gasket on and make sure it's seated in there right. Once you have the gasket seated, you can go ahead and push in the rest of the fuel pump. And like I stated earlier in the video, you wanna rotate until that arrow is pointing towards the little Sharpie mark that we made earlier. Go ahead and push down on it. Line the arrow up. And then screw on the outer ring. Now that the DynoJet fuel pump's installed in the fuel tank, we can go ahead and reconnect our fuel line and our electrical connector. Now that the fuel line's hooked back up and the electrical connector, we can go ahead and reconnect our metal bracket. Last step is just to reinstall the top cover and then we're going to be done. And that's it. The install process is done. It's really not too hard. It's a pretty easy install. Hopefully this video helps you guys out along the way. If you found this video helpful, give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And for more great X3 products, check us out at dinojet.com. <laughs>